Hi there. Today I wanted to demonstrate a few techniques you could use to make a dragon head. But remember, there's so many different ways to do it, so feel free to put your own spin on this. I am using aluminum foil. Today I'm also going to be using masking tape. I'm going to use a pen or pencil to poke, and you might need something to cut with if you want to do a mouth. So I'm going to start just by ripping some foil off. And I tend to crumple it into a loose ball. And you may want to add more or less foil depending on the size of your head. And I crumple it into a very loose ball. And I'm kind of going for more of a peanut shape. So I tend to squeeze the middle a little bit and make that a little bit thinner. And then the other parts are a little bit thicker. Feel free to wrap with additional aluminum foil if you need to, if you feel like this is getting too small. And to wrap with additional foil, you just pull another piece off of your rope and you just kind of wrap up your entire sculpture. That will bulk it up and strengthen it. If you have extra, you just kind of squeeze it and push it. And aluminum foil takes some practice as a sculpting material, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty darn cool. It can be a little pokey though, so I will often roll it against my work surface. This is a studio work table I'm using, but if you're at home, you might want to get a cutting board that's really cruddy. You might want to put down some cardboard, maybe something to protect your surfaces because when you roll against it, you'll notice sometimes it can scratch or leave marks. So please be very, very mindful of your working surfaces and prepare your studio space. But once it's prepped, or if you have special working tables like I do, feel free to use the surface to help sculpt. So there's part of my dragon head. You can make it smaller just by compressing it more and you eventually get to a point where you can't compress it too much. I'm kind of using like dinosaurs and alligators as my inspiration shape. And I'm creating this long snout. Now, how, now to help you kind of visualize, I am going to tape my dragon so you could see it a little bit differently and also because I know I'm going to be paper mache over top of it and paper mache sticks a lot better to the tape and the tape will definitely make it a lot stronger. Okay so I'm gonna get some pieces of masking tape. Don't try to do it all with one little piece. You're going to need a lot a lot a lot of pieces and you're gonna need to really press them down good. So I'm ripping my pieces off and I'm gonna go ahead and tape my entire dragon head just like that. So tape, tape, tape your dragon head. Sometimes when I'm bored, I'll just grab my tape roll and I just put a bunch of little extra pieces against the edge of the table. But for now, I'm just kind of doing it live with you. So go ahead and tape along with me. I know this is a boring part of the video, but hopefully you're working along with me and you're grabbing your tape and you're taping as well. Feel free to pause the video at any point, go back, and feel free to substitute any materials. We just had Thanksgiving near us and I've been reusing foil to cover leftovers, washing it, drying it, and reusing it again for my sculpture. Just make sure it's really dry when you use it or else the tape won't stick well. And you don't want a moldy dragon. And really, really push, push, push the tape on. Some brands of masking tape work better than others. Feel free to experiment and explore a little bit. Or you might just have to be vigilant and just keep going back and adding more and more and more tape and just periodically giving your dragon a little massage. You'll also notice the way and the direction that you put the tape on does impact it. And you'll start to find that maybe doing crisscrosses and X's of tape help out. Now I am putting the tape on my dragon head. And as I'm doing that, I'm starting to think about where the eye is going to go. Where's the snout? Am I going to open the mouth or close it? Notice I don't have any little details yet, like horns or ears. I will be adding those, but I'll add them separate. There we go. And we'll get a little bit on the back. Press, 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 smooth, smooth, smooth. You really gotta press and smooth and press and smooth. You don't want even a little sliver of aluminum foil showing because that's a great place where the tape is gonna wanna peel up. So cover every single spot, turn it around, make sure you haven't missed anything, and press, 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 and smooth. Press, 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 and smooth. 
Now to help you kind of visualize what I'm creating, I'm going to use a pencil or pen, just be really careful, and I'm gonna poke in some nostrils. Poke, twist, poke, twist. And the same thing with some eye sockets. Poke, twist, and I'm gonna put beads. I could put all sorts of things in there, but it just kind of helps me gauge where different parts of my dragon are going to be. Poke, twist. If you wanna open the mouth, be very careful if you're using scissors. It is very challenging to work with scissors and really, really packed foil. If you're using a blade, make sure you check with a grown-up. I am going to open it. Another option for you, instead of cutting out the mouth, is to actually just sculpt the bottom of the mouth, and that's always a good thing to do as well. This part's a little tricky, go nice and slow and gentle. And keep turning it and always cut away from your body. And you can open up the mouth if you want, or you can sculpt a bottom mouth, or sometimes I just use, I'll show you part of another dragon I'm doing. I use the neck to become part of the lower, lower jaw. So that's gonna be the start to my dragon head. In subsequent videos and lessons, I will show you guys how to do little details such as eyebrows, horns, eyelashes, teeth, but really kind of get that mouth going. You'll have to retape in there, but I'm opening up my mouth. Or, like I said, I want to show you my other dragon. And I'm starting, I'm starting to work on the neck here, but this part of the neck I can bend and that could become a lower jaw or I could even attach it there. And we'll talk more about attaching as well. So get started on your little peanut head. You can do it any way you like. Great work.